So today is another different type of video, meaning that uh, it's not gonna be the normal type of skateboarding stuff you see. Uh, ever since I was little watching a bunch of old uh, skate videos, there'd be little shots of, uh, sometimes of the people I watch just in their apartments hanging out, and I've always noticed this thing that uh, skateboarders do where they would hit, nail a truck to a wall or like somehow bolt it down and then they would tie a string to a wheel and then they would kind of play the, the skateboard equivalent of the ball in a cup game that you've probably known about forever. So uh, yeah, pretty much you mount the truck to a wall and then you have to tie it to a string and then let go and try to land the wheel on top of the truck. So today uh, I was gonna do that because I think it's a fun little thing to have uh, just hanging around when your friends are over or something or if I get bored myself. And uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. So today uh, you're gonna watch me attempt to try to make this happen. So let's get started. So to begin, the only reference that I have of something that I could see similar to this is from an account on YouTube called Skateboarderville. They uploaded a video called The Wheel Game. So Skateboarderville, this is a... Uh so Skateboarderville, uh, you get all the credit for showing me how to do this. And uh, Alex Buning actually gave me a little tip to try to mount the truck at an angle because it'd make the wheel land on it easier. So yeah, I'm going to get some nails out and we'll see if this works. There's no nails on there. Okay, so the things that I have, um, obviously I have a skateboard wheel and I had one truck. Uh, this was actually a leftover truck that I found at work so uh, it wasn't able to be used. I think there was a defect with the other one so we just had stuff kind of hanging around. So I took this truck, but um, you don't need bolts or anything for this so I'm taking off the one bolt right here. It's on the ground now. And taking off the washers that are on it and this should be good enough to mount and fit perfectly on that little piece of wall that I had. Also, if you saw the video where I hung up the skateboards, I'm literally going to be using the same tools that I used from that. So, fishing line is what I'll use to tie around the string. Hopefully, it uh, will stay knotted and the wheel won't fly off when I throw it. Then I have um, scissors to cut it, nails to mount the truck, and of course, hammer. A nail fell on the ground. I'm afraid I'm going to step on it now. Oh, it's perfect. Hell yeah. All right, so as you can see here, um, I left the nail hanging out a little bit because it's not gonna be having too much weight on it. And it actually provided the angle that I needed for the wheel to land on, so it'll make the wheel uh, land on the axle a little bit easier, so yeah. So yeah, if you leave a little bit of the nail hanging out like that, the truck will angle perfectly exactly how you want it so that the wheel can actually uh, land on the truck easier. Okay, so I tied the fishing line around the wheel. Um, I made it double knotted so that it didn't come untied as easily. And um, I've kind of, pre-measured out how much I want it to be dangling from the ceiling. So it's gonna vary for different people on how much uh, line that you have hanging. So since I have this little bar wall thing in the way here, I didn't want it to hang so low that it would hit this on the way up to the truck. So, so the amount of string that I have is gonna be a little bit smaller than uh, what I believe would an average person would use. So leave it so that it's still a challenge to land on the truck, but the hard part will be getting it on the ceiling without moving. So let's see how this goes. All right. See if I can do it. That was amazing. All right, so I did it. Um, I feel great that I actually was able to make this happen, but before I go and feel all accomplished, I wanna give you guys a few uh, warnings that may happen if you follow the exact steps that I did to do this. So um, this tape that's up here, uh, so I had to go through this over and over again. The main problem that I kept running into is that obviously the tape wasn't strong enough to withstand. It wasn't able to withstand the force that was going back and forth between the wheel and uh, landing on the truck and all that, so it kept pulling on the tape. So um, if you find any other alternative, like duct tape instead of electric tape, um, I recommend using that instead, so. And then also, the other issue that I ran into is tying a knot on the wheel itself. Um, you're more than likely not going to nail the distance that you need first try, so leave more than what you think that way you can tape it and uh, leave room for error so the last thing is that um, the truck itself that I have nailed to the wall may or may not fall off I was noticing some of the times that I was trying to throw the wheel onto the truck that it was hitting it and I got nervous that it didn't fall off the nails that I have in but luckily it didn't so if that happens just be careful I don't want to take responsibility if that happens so yeah that was it this is a success and I'm happy I did this and now I have a little game to play while I'm here we'll see if I can do this in five tries or less before uh, the video ends here, ready? First try. One, two, ah, ah, four, hit the truck, come on, come on, fifth try. I can't do it, all right, 
So yeah, obviously it's a challenge. It's really, really fun. So I recommend doing this if you are a skateboarder and you have an extra truck and wheel laying around. This is definitely a good time passer. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Give it a like if you did and subscribe if you liked uh, the video you watched. And as always, I hope you have a great day um, and I'll see you in the next video. Later. One more try. Sixth try. Huh. Come on. You gotta do it. Okay, I'm gonna do this uh, in the after clip. That was way too hard. Dang it. Oh, oh my gosh. That counts. Whatever. Go away. Bye.